Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, what is a day without some nice juicy drama? Without people losing their shit over things that realistically don't matter all that much. Unless it's Genshin, in which case it matters a lot to you. You see, Genshin Impact just lost 3 million followers by Mujin. I don't know Mujin, but I, I need to get into this drama. Now, as you know, I'm not a big Genshin guy, alright? I've done my research on Genshin lore. I've done my research on Genshin dramas. I've never actually played Genshin. However, Genshin sponsored my videos and then immediately told me that I had to remove the freaking sponsor part because I said the word waifu and waifu is a derogatory term. Listen, no one's perfect. <laughs> least of all china so let's just jump right into it baby let's see some some nice nice sexy genshin drama asap let's do it all right what what's going on what caused them to lose three million followers <laughs> the first month the first <laughs> month of this year has not passed yet <laughs> Oh, what is going on? No, no. How did Genshin Impact manage to lose over a million followers oh, overnight? My, dude, you're actually insane. Did you never see this? Dude, EDP didn't lose as many followers as Genshin Impact, bro. EDP! That guy's basically a confirmed pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the frick, man? Just because of one sentence what? during Wait, a developer what? live stream. Oh my god, dude. Whoever said that is is got is has got to be in prison right now. They went back to the gulag making iPhones for rich Americans. Virtually every content creator for Genshin or even the internet has covered this topic so far because it Wow, this man's just calling me out for being late, for being a lazy bones. Sorry to say the the uh the L slur in a video again, but like I, I deserve that I'm a lazy bones. It's that crazy. And the situation is not even close to being over. In fact, one could argue that it just keeps getting worse. Oh my god, what the frick? How is this even possible? Do you have any idea how many insane Genshin drama situations there were? Like, there were attempted assassinations over Genshin Impact, okay? But this is what pushed it over the edge. Many have called it a spiritual successor to... Two stars on the app store. Oh my god, what is going on? I must know, I must know. The first anniversary disaster of Genshin Impact. Or even a distant cousin of the Honkai Impact 3rd bunny girl incident without any knives. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I sure do hope oh so. Oh god, So dude. what the hell is going on and why is it so significant? All right, well, just hit like me. any Genshin Impact controversy, it's not so simple. Let's check out why. All right, dude. Look, what you have to understand is that for Genshin Impact and its developer, Mihoyo, there are two dates every year that are extremely important. Okay. The first one is the anniversary on September 28th. All right, Which makes has sense. already ended makes in catastrophe sense. back in Wait, 2020. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> why? Why, huh? 21, due to its importance. Players expect a lot and it's very easy to disappoint, especially when you don't learn from your mistakes. Oh, God. But the other extremely important date in the year Chinese is the New Chinese year. Lunar Year. All right. Because Mihoyo is a Chinese company, but they also take it a step further. A huge chunk. Oh my god, dude. I am so happy I'm not in the Genshin community. My lord. Of Mihoyo's very impressive revenue that was more than PlayStation in 2022. Oh my god, dude. They're so big. It's insane how massive they are. And it's like, it's an entire freaking community based off degenerate gambling. Gambling? It's titty gambling instead of money gambling. I don't know what's worse. Comes from China. Each of their games usually has a world, and they will have different regions. Okay. One of these regions will always be inspired by China. And Genshin Impact- Wait, is that like a rule? That every game a Chinese development company develops has to have at least one city based off China? Oh my god. This is Liyue. In Hawkeye Star right. Rail, it's the Xinxiu Luofo. All right, right? All right. I said it correctly, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> this helps a lot with their reputation in China. And of course, leads to increased sales. All right, but all right. To say it's a double edged sword is an understatement. <laughs> because if you do one thing wrong, Ronald Weasley, if you step one toe out of line, oh lord, brother, Xi Jinping's army of cocks are gonna be stretching your asshole ASAP. Because some of their biggest contra- I'm Sorry, Xi Jinping, I didn't mean that in a bad way. I meant that uh, your glorious cocks will uh... come from these regions. One huge aspect of the bunny girl incident was because- I love how he's talking about the bunny girl incident, but not even talking about like what actually happened. I think what I mentioned earlier was the case, but goddamn. Because the Chinese mascot character of Honkai Impact 3rd was put in a yes! bunny suit costume. Yes, dude! Seen as oh something Lord. that foreigners fantasize about. Foreigners fantasize about bunny suits? And we put her in a bunny suit? And she's Chinese. So are you selling out China to be something that foreigners fantasize about? To the gulag. Making it seem like they were selling out China 
to the west Yo! just for fan service. Which, let's be real, that's what this entire game is! And this resulted in someone going to the HQ of Miho. Oh my god, he actually talks about this! This is what I was talking about! Someone actually went there and tried to assassinate the CEO! Trying to stab the CEO and jump off of the building. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, dude. That's exactly what I was talking about before, dude. This was such a big issue, okay? And yes, yes it's a big issue! We're still talking about anime girls, okay? This was such a big issue that on that same year, Miho CEO joined the Chinese Communist Party officially. What the actual hell is going on, dude? Dude, everyone's playing freaking Pal World right now, and then pa Pal World starts getting hate, and then coincidentally, the CEO of Pal World decides to to become Donald Trump's vice president. Probably because he doesn't want to end up like Jack Ma from Alibaba. <laughs> oh my fucking God, dude. Right, uh, okay, whatever. This is like a whole conspiracy theory that Jack Ma got too rich and then they they just fucking ended the guy. And you had the Zhongli controversy. In Genshin Impact, he is the god of the Liyue region. Oh, he god. was long awaited and Chinese players in particular were very hyped for him. After his release, oh, no. his kit was disappointing. But that's not the first time- Oh, you're joking me! So Liyue in Genshin Impact is based off China. Every one of these different regions in Genshin has a god. The god for Liyue is Zhongli. Zhongli's moves are slightly underwhelming. Everyone thinks you are in, in, insulting Chinese deities. Pandemonium breaks loose! Hell begins! This happened in Genshin Impact history. In fact, it's happened recently. A character gets hyped, releases, dog shit gameplay. But with Zhongli, they did something that they have no- Good one, boss! Can you stop at the next Pentius for, for four seconds, please? This is a political incident that we are watching. Have some respect for, for Winnie the Pooh and the Communist Party. Sorry, sorry. Ever, ever done before or again, when Chinese players complained, they buffed him because this oh wasn't just about god, the game anymore. Dude. It's this a political incident. Oh my god, dude. It was about Chinese pride. Oh so my yeah, god. This inclusion of Chinese culture does lead to more sales in their games. But it literally it does. Lead to way bigger problems. Due to this, they've never screwed up the Chinese Lunar New Year event. No, this sir. This is their most important, most sugar-coated. Oh God, I feel like I know where this is going. I feel like I feel like. Listen, listen. My 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 Nux pre-watch senses are tingling, but I have a sneaking suspicion they fucked up the Chinese Lunar event. Listen, I I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but like I'm just saying, it's possible. Most exclusive, most high-budget event of the year, every year. It's always gone well for both global and Chinese players up until now. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a special live stream that they do every year for Lunar New Year, done fully in Chinese and usually features the Miho development team for Genshin Impact, as well as the CEO himself. At 37.48. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is the one line that ends the company. No, no, no. How can, how is this even possible? How is it possible that one line, one little tiny itty bitty line was the sentence that ruined everything? Oh my fucking, you're so smart, boss. Oh, God damn it, bro. This will forever be remembered in China as the 37.48 incident. And you can see everyone in the comments reference. Oh my God, everyone's pointing to that timestamp. <laughs> That timestamp talking about it. Let's watch together. Bro, just say Taiwan and it's over. Thank everyone for their support and company over the next year. We're also going to use in game mail, alright? To send you all three intertwined fates. Alright, so far it's pretty, pretty basic. <laughs> Wait, was that it? I don't even know what happened! Why is everyone losing it? I don't even know what what happened. Three wishes, only three. Oh my god, they're going crazy. <laughs> L plus ratio, only three? What? <laughs> oh my. Ultimately, like this is a nothing burger, right? Big shock that the freaking gotcha game company is actually greedy. Oh, you can say that this is on YouTube. This isn't even on the Chinese side. Okay. Oh my god, dude. Okay. So yes, three intertwined fates for three wonderful years together, one per year. I can't wait to reach 10 years so I can actually get a 10 pull. <laughs> so the three year anniversary was just a shitty reward and people- And they lost 3 million followers! Because it's insultingly 
low as a reward for such prolonged loyalty. This is the equivalent of a doctor saving your life and you offering him two used condoms and a chocolate bar. It's like, dude, just say thank you and leave my fuck office. <laughs> like, I don't okay. want this. And the reason for that is simple. Three years might not seem like a big deal, but to a gacha game... I put 100 plus hours into a gacha game that is dead forever and I feel so empty inside. I hate to be that guy. People, they seem like spoiled fans. I mean, realistically, it's not like the fans are doing anything illegal. Okay? Fans are allowed to do whatever the hell they want. They can support something. They don't have to support something. They can follow. They can unfollow. I feel like people taking this to an extreme both ways. The company could give a shitty reward that is within their rights to do so. It's shitty, but they could do that. And, and people supporting the project could decide to no longer support the project. That is completely and utterly valid. And to people that already dropped, you know, a hundred grand into Genshin Impact, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. But you're just like every crypto bro that put a hundred thousand dollars into the fucking ass coin, all right? Listen, this is never gonna be an investment. This was always for the fun of it. Don't put in anything that you expect to actually keep. World of Warcraft, they're not MMOs. They're not here for more than five years. In fact, seasoned gotcha players know very well that even though they're spending hundreds of dollars on the game it could literally go offline one year from release date and there's nothing they can do about exactly, it exactly exactly you can do whatever the hell you want yo aurora phoenix welcome to the stream we're talking about genshin impact losing three million followers gone forever now there's no statistics or no sources on this but most people agree that the average lifespan is five years for a gacha game and the fact that this game has been around for three years and during those three years has only shown growth both in players and revenue That's crazy literally printing money dude and it's insane most gacha games die from boredom right after like five years like the the novelty dies off there's something new on the horizon and it dies Genshin impact is dying because they're just ungrateful dickheads there is something glorious about that for them to give out such an insultingly low reward is actually mind-blowing 90 intertwined fates to guarantee a five-star character what the hell am i gonna do with you need 90 fates to guarantee a fucking five-star character and they gave three out of 90 that's the most humiliating thing i've ever seen in my life three realistically it's just three dog sh blue weapons what were they thinking like just on a marketing standpoint did they think that this was a good idea like it's insulting what the hell okay Maybe add a rain slasher to the mix. Even worse. <laughs> One additional thing. Yeah, I don't get that reference at all, but. <laughs> You, you tell him, dog. You freaking, you go tell him. I didn't see many content creators mentioning when they were talking about this is how Chinese people are known to be huge on symbolism. Okay. Look, this lunar year is the year of the dragon. That's pretty and awesome. Zhongli, the archon, the god of Liyue, as I mentioned earlier, takes on the form of a dragon. <laughs> All right, okay, I'm, I'm fine, okay. <laughs> In Chinese culture, the dragon holds a significant place as an auspicious and extraordinary creature. Unparalleled in talent and excellence, it symbolizes power, nobility, honor, luck, and success. 2024 is forecasted to bring about opportunities, changes, and challenges. Oh yeah, it'll bring out. Uh, no, no one told him about what Genshin was gonna do. When, when the, when whoever wrote this uh, dragon horoscope, bro, they, they were not aware of what was gonna actually be happening. Oh my god. Challenge is all right, bro. This is a year that happens every 12 years. Oh my god, bro. It's like the coolest year ever. Why would they do this? And the archon of Liyue happens to take on a dragon form as well. And so you're telling me that all the staff involved, the people sitting down, the people behind the camera, the script writers, everyone involved in this process, no one, not one person thought to themselves, wait, <laughs> wait. Oh my can God. Can we just step back for a second? Yeah, what were they thinking? Like, were they actually so like with their head up their ass with the insane amount of money they they were just making over the last couple of years? Because they were making an insane amount of money. Like, an, ins an egregious amount of money. Genshin Impact is probably the most profitable casino in the world. Okay. And they really thought they can get away with this shit? Second, and not redo what we did on the first anniversary. <laughs> Just like, maybe? That is what's so crazy here. So, of course, after the live stream... All right, baby. The... Let's go. All right. So, this was the incident, which is like... Let's be real here. This is like a nothing burger of an incident. It's just kind of humiliating and... Uh, and... But they deserve all this backlash. All of a sudden, you started seeing an infl... Taiwan? Is that a country, boss? Yes, that is a country, chat. <laughs> good talk. Good talk. Flux of tweets on Twitter telling you about what was happening on the Chinese side of the internet. All right, oh, dude, I'm ready. And said, the global side of Genshin seems so peaceful, while on the Chinese side, you get to see their official account on Chinese TikTok drop from 11 million 
to 8.9 million followers in a day. They lost over 2 million followers in a day. I can't think of a single like YouTube freaking pedophile that lost as many subs this quickly. Just to put into a frame of reference, James Charles has tons of pedophile accusations. Tati, a YouTuber with like 10 million subscribers, made a video about James Charles accusing him of grooming straight people and trying to turn them gay with his clout and forcing straight people to sleep with him. Like that was her accusation at the time. Like that is mind blowing, okay? And this guy who had like 20 million subscribers lost 1.2 million, which is a big deal. And it's still not even close to Genshin Impact giving a shitty reward to Chinese players. Do you even recognize how massive this is? Still dropping in real time. Almost every player is criticizing Genshin. And so it has begun. Oh By my god, dude, I'm just here to watch the cards fall, okay? I am I am the chaotic outer god that's just simply sitting here and watching the cards fall. I have no stake in this game, and I am just going to sit here and enjoy. I am just going to laugh at the chaos because I have no stakes in this game. And like, if people think that I'm gonna feel bad for a hundreds of million dollar worth Chinese company, it, like, you got, <laughs> you have another thing coming to you. Everyone knew, oh, sh And in every controversy- Look who can't say waifu now! <laughs> Sorry, sorry, that was petty. I, they didn't deserve that. I'm just so impressed by how determined and united Chinese players are when it comes to companies pissing them the hell off. Like, just think about it. Walmart, tomorrow, an American company can come out and say, hey guys, you know what? Slavery wasn't so bad. <laughs> They're huh. not gonna lose this many- I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. Every single political movement and boycott in the world wasn't as effective as these guys giving a shitty reward on a Chinese New Year. Like, this is insane. Insane. Happen. Look, everyone out here talks about K-pop stands and Swifties and how much power they have when they're pissed at something, but the Chinese players are just the Chinese netizens in general. <laughs> Nothing can really compare to them when they're pissed. Which is one of the many overpowered done right. Many reasons why Mihoyo's biggest fear is pissing them off and will usually bow down if they can to apologize. It wasn't just Duyin that was affected, Chinese TikTok. Many other things were affected too. Billy Billy, the Chinese equivalent of YouTube that also has an app store for games, was also affected with a barrage of one-star reviews, Brother. giving me the thousand yard stare of Google Play back in 2021. Its rating dropped so low to 5.8 that hey, soon enough, Tower of Fantasy might catch up. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of one-star reviews, two, three, one, all kind of talking. Look here, I'm a foreigner and I just read the news. If I'm not misunderstand, Hoiverse really planned on giving only three pulls for an anniversary of the year as a thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh very God. shady and even worse than its first oh. anniversary disaster. And then they go on to kind of detail. Oh my God, dude. These guys are not chill in the comment section at all. They're like, oh, you know what? I will drop my entire ass on the comment section. Problems of the game. Let's translate this reply. I wonder what it is. Even though I have a score of 40 in English, I can understand your poor English. I'm speechless. <laughs> oh my God. So overall, dude. they were pissed. But you know, reviews are annoying. <laughs> However, oh, for God. Chinese- I cannot believe- this is like a little misstep. Like, I, I get- it's obviously really fucking stupid and greedy. But like, ultimately, it's a little misstep. They're not impactful enough to incite change for a corporation. So they took it a step further. No, no. They started- Honestly, I know that I'm like- I've been like laughing and joking around, but this might have been the biggest boycott in human history. There are business relationships and partnerships with other companies by going to their pages, commenting about how they're gonna boycott the company if they don't stop collaborating with Genshin. They threatened McDonald's and KFC to stop collaborating with Genshin. This is insanity! Bro, what is even going on? Like, this is actually the biggest boycott in human history. Like, it's kind of pathetic that it's all about gambling for titties. And unfollowing them. These are companies as big as KFC, Pizza Hut, Haiti, which is a mega huge boba tea brand in China. Mihoyo was even accused of buying zombie accounts on Bilibili to inflate its review, with accounts such as these giving positive ratings to the game. There's examples wow. here too of these weird accounts. Oh my god, Genshin was even buying bots to combat the fucking hate raids, and it still wasn't working. <laughs> it still wasn't working. Of course, it's not confirmed, but it's never going to be confirmed unless someone leaks it and loses their job, so let's not expect that. As I mentioned before, this was the final nail in the coffin. But the coffin was being hammered for a long time before this, I assure you, okay? <laughs> like, Brother. this is something that's been going on for a while. 
I mean, just recently, okay? Like this month, mid-January, okay. Genshin Impact announced that if you buy a PS5, okay, the console that comes with Genshin Impact, you get a feature that many people have been asking for for like oh forever. god don't the skin this, select all. you get a feature if you buy a ps5 what the hell what if you already have a ps5 and are playing genshin impact you realize how insane this is they're giving a free feature that they should give everyone as a bundle feature for people that are buying a ps5 they are literally spitting in the mouths of everyone that's already been playing their game where you can claim any of the four star skins for free you can pick any skin on this list and this is pretty much a list of every skin that's been available from the game release up until now, except for Deluxe skin, but why the hell would you want him? I hate him. And what's even worse, okay. this is Chinese exclusive, okay? It just gets worse and worse. Like, these guys have, like... I love how chat's like, capitalism, bro, capitalism, bro. You realize that this is the Chinese Communist Party, okay? Like, you, you recognize what you're talking about for just a moment. So even if you wanted to go out of your way to buy a PS5 for this, guess what? China only. And it's not like the Chinese players are happy about this either. This is a feature that they want as well, but a lot of people already have a PS5. That's what I'm just saying. They're giving rewards to people that aren't in their fandom. They're so scared about growth that they don't actually give a crap about their actual players. Gen when Genshin sponsored me, I asked um, if Genshin wanted to sponsor a friend of mine that actually made Genshin content. And, and the answer that I received was, no, he's already making Genshin content. He's already promoting the game by making the Genshin content. We, we only want to support people that don't make Genshin content. Like, you, you all, wait, so you only want to support the people that, that aren't supporting you. Or can't even afford one. I mean, dude, this is 3,600 yuan. The entire world is going through a recession. And the household income in China doesn't make them the richest people in the world. So this is as tone deaf as what they said in the live stream. There's also the issue of Star Rail. I wouldn't even call it an issue. It's oh an issue God. for Genshin, but great for me. Oh yeah, right. I saw this, that uh, Star Rail gave like a huge reward. Their most recent title has not even been out for a year and they've already given out probably more rewards than Genshin has in the last three years. Their 2.0- <laughs> It's just good cop, bad cop. Mihoyo with their good cop, bad cop. <laughs> no way, dude. And Genshin gave three. And it's the same company. Oh my god. It was just today as I'm recording this video. And it was insane. I mean, seriously, it's insane. They made a music video for it to hype it up. It was awesome. They're not giving out 10 wishes. They're giving out 20. How's that for your three by in-game mail, Brother. by the way? And a few weeks ago, they did something unthinkable. They right, didn't they ratio the hell out of Genshin Impact by actually giving a free five star? They gave out a free five star character. Yeah. And usually you'd expect them to give out a free five star. That's I, saw, I saw people losing their minds. So it's just it's just Mihoyo beating up Mihoyo. It's like the Obama meme putting a medal on himself, except it's Obama putting a gun to the back of his own head. This guy's name is Dr. Ratio. Oh my God, that's awesome, dude. That's terrible. Like Genshin did back with Aloy, with their partnership with PlayStation. This is a character no one uses, okay? She doesn't even have constellations. This is an incomplete character. But no, we were in a completely different situation because this one had drip marketing. This one had promotion. Yes. This one had so much hype built around him and had so much effort put into him as a character. And he was free. Bro, he really lives up to that ratio in his name. Holy crap. Ended up being very viable for the meta. That it was actually a crazy good gift. And on top of this was- Like, this is how you get people to actually like you and support you. It's insane. It's, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta give something away for free. Realize it's, it's, <laughs> sometimes you gotta give something away for free. What's most important to me is that they keep adding quality of life changes, things that Genshin players have wanted since release, and they show no sign of stopping. Now I'm truly wondering what they're gonna get for their one year anniversary, <laughs> because I highly doubt it'll be a disappointment. But all this to say that this was a gradual- If you want to make money, you give stuff away for free. As my favorite- Okay, as my favorite Jew once said. Buy one, get one free. Huh? <laughs> Buy one. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> get one free. Is that like a Spanish word? No, it's English. The whole thing's English. Oh, because it seems like you're saying the first part in English, and then some kind of made up a falum falum for something in the second part. I don't understand you. All right, l l let me try explaining it another way. Let's say we're at someone else's store, and there's a sign, and it says, buy one, get one free. Get one free? Wow! What are you talking about? I love that clip! All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That tone-deaf sentence during the live stream was the catalyst that triggered that buildup. But this dissatisfaction has been present The blister was there. This terrible reward just popped the blister and got all that fucking gunk and shit all over the computer monitor.
We've all been there. A while, especially when people realized that if Starl can do it, why can't Genshin? What's the excuse? The same here? company! You simply just can't find one anymore, except Copium. You decided to make a region based off of China, and your biggest event in the game that takes place every year has customs that are directly inspired by IRL China customs and traditions. And hey, no one forced you to screw up. You did it yourself. Let's but go. because they screwed up on such an integral point of the year in such an important event, this all of a sudden went from a game problem to a national problem. Problem. Dude, look at this guy. This guy sitting here just minding his own business and answering a reward is about to cause the biggest boycott in human history. Giving me strong Vietnam flashbacks to the bunny girl incident. Oh it's my, been I, I really hope no one actually gets killed over this shit. Oh my god. Two full years since the first anniversary catastrophe. And you've had such a long time to learn from your mistakes, but you haven't. What else is there to say? Apparently, nothing. Exactly. <laughs> That's why you follow the Lord Nuxanor rule, okay? The the Nux Pentius concept of, Hello, minions! We sit back and watch the fire and flames. We just watch the chaos consume everyone. We will sit here, me with my little eggies, and we will enjoy the cataclysmic disaster that is unfolding before us it's been more than a week since this has happened by the time this video goes oh up. my god chat is literally spamming good one boss you got it boss oh my fucking god and milio has said nothing about this complete radio silence now of course if you're a dog sh gaming tabloid journalist aiming to get cheap clicks you'll make up the fact that they apologized because, hey, Wait, it's what? on the Chinese side of the internet. People reading the article won't really care, right? Oh my god! They they literally lied. They lied, bro! Okay, dude, this is actually, this is insane. Like, I, can, we, can we agree that this is some form of harassment? And, like, can we, can we agree that something, there, there's something wrong here? Like, truly wrong? Like, look at this. So, yes, boss, 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 talk, you said a boss. Yes, boss, you're doing great, boss. Okay, boss, that's our boss. Yes, boss. Like, can we, can we, we just love you, boss. Like, can we at least agree the fact that this is, this is harassment? Th this is, like, actual cyberbullying right now absolutely sure we can boss they're agreeing with me there i just think nux isn't used to positive reinforcement they modified it the next day right but the initial version said that mihoyo apologized and that they've adjusted the rewards no they didn't they wow. didn't say anything another Wait, website you're saying that like an actual news article just got the facts wrong that's crazy that never happens gizmo china said the same thing no doubt inspired by the amazing journalistic integrity of sports Skeeta, saying hoyaverse issued an apology and promised to reassess and adjust the rewards no buddy you realize what idiots oh my god how much research i put into this i went to google and typed genshin impact apology in mandarin and I couldn't find anything. <laughs> if you don't believe me, there's a Chinese player who can confirm it oh, too. God. On Tectone subreddit, who's probably watching this video right now because he has been farming hundreds of thousands. Yo, Tectone must be eating so good right now off this drama. Bro, I have never seen anyone that is like in a community where he actively hates his community as much as he does. He's like a Genshin player that hates Genshin. Like, dude, I feel like that should be the meta. Maybe we should start some sort of community. Like, let's, let's find a community that we could join and just absolutely hate i think that it's a really good strat thousands of views on this controversy a chinese player came here and confirmed there is nothing on their doing it which is tiktok but in china billy billy or weibo and it seems like the source for this came from sports Skeeta, with multiple content creators quoting it from there even though they didn't provide any sources typical gaming tabloid journalism yeah. sports Skeeta, dick Cerdo, all these dog websites that's what they do but they didn't apologize now, what do I think is going to happen? Are we going to have crazy changes? Is the game going to have a change of management that will steer it in the right direction? No. I think just like the first anniversary. <laughs> just push it under the rug. People will eventually forget. Next time, maybe they'll do better. Next time, maybe they won't do better. But that's all it is, baby. The Bunny Girl incident in Honkai Impact 3rd. Mihoyo will simply send an in-game mail with 1,600 parameters saying, Sorry. Also, the two four-star skins that we're releasing for Shenhan Ganyu for the Lunar New Year, you can have one for free. Wow. Yeah, we're really sorry. Here's your booba outfit. Enjoy. And everyone's eyes glaze over and no one is mad anymore. Finally, a solution to everyone's problems. I'm just saying, if we could have bunny girls running for president instead of these old fucks that don't actually do anything anyway, like, let's be real here. I would be more into politics. Right now, I kind of just view politics as like a toxic fandom. Think of how much better the world would be. I'm just saying. If we can have like a Keijo match between Trump and Biden. I could be wrong, right? But I totally see everyone calming down if they do this. But at this point, I'm convinced either they're tone deaf to the point of being quite literally 
deaf Damn. to all the player surveys that they've given out and received, or Genshin Impact has such spaghetti code that implementing the smallest quality of life change, like collect all in expeditions, literally takes three years. No way collect all took three years to introduce to the game. Dude, why do people support this game? Listen, I've never really played Genshin, and the story is good, but it's not like great. It's not like the best story I've ever heard in my life. Boss Taku Nux Pentius, oh, because anime titties. But like, dude, there's there's so many titties other places. We're on the internet, bro. Titties are abundant. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Either way, I'll continue watching the chaos as I always do. I'll continue yes! laughing my ass off. Yes! And Based. I'll continue making videos at the risk of being blacklisted by Genshin Impact. Okay, what's gonna happen? They're gonna blacklist you. Oh, God. Oh, Mujin, you, have, you and Nux Taku are both in the, the box of people. People that said the, the word waifu that's a slur that's inappropriate people don't play genshin impact for, for the fat asses and, and slapping titties no 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 people like genshin impact for the story and drama as always thank you for watching subscribe if you enjoyed the video i love you uh, what a situation i'm really glad we covered this i like dude anytime there's like some massive shit storm on the internet i am there bro i am just here to watch the chaos how cute boss oh my god stop it i wasn't down for the drama until i I heard that it was one sentence that ruined them. Bro.